Good morning. Uh, my name is Pastor Bob Benson. I'm joined by uh, Dr. Mark Hansen. We're talking this morning uh, about some current events, and we really needed to get this recorded uh, with what's going on in our world today. As I look at my world today, I know that we're getting close to the last days. It says nobody knows the day or the hour, but we can recognize the times and the seasons. And uh, I can tell you for sure we're one day closer today than we were yesterday. Uh, as I see these events pouring out, especially in Afghanistan, and you have to understand where I'm at. I served five years in the United States Army, uh, and I've had friends that have, uh, have sacrificed and been over there. And as I see uh, the hasty pullout and the ramifications from it, my heart is grieved. There have been gospel strides made in, the, in Afghanistan and in a lot of the Muslim countries. And I know it's hard to believe, but this little podcast is actually watched sometimes in uh, the Middle East. And we want to encourage our brothers and our sisters that are committed Christians <clears throat> that we are praying for the situation that's there. Yeah. It's not enough to be praying about it. I mean, our hearts are grieved by watching these things happen, this hasty pullout. And I've heard a lot of people just recently criticizing military leaders for uh, the way this has gone down. They were given a directive from their commander in chief. And uh, unfortunately, I think this was just too hasty. This wasn't well thought out. And now people are dying. And uh, my heart is grieved for these people that have, have come to faith in Jesus Christ and are now persecuted there. And uh, so uh, I just want to remind all of you out there keep praying for. Uh, the gospel strides that have made advances, in, especially in these Muslim countries. Um, Mark, what do you think about what's going on? Yeah, I, I agree with you on that, Bob. And not being a military person, you've helped me understand some of that. Cause I, but I get frustrated by what I see going on. It's like somebody knew something right. <laughs> And it was not. I don't. I agree with you, Bob. I don't think it was. It was. It was hasty. It was not planned. The the thing that troubles me, also, uh, a little more close at home, is the dis dismissive attitude mm -hmm. and the defiant. It. Well, I was. It doesn't matter. I was right. No, you weren't. <laughs> and one of the things we don't do as much anymore is we don't acknowledge our wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you messed up, ac acknowledge it. You know, as uh, I saw one former congressman uh, say on one of the news outlets um, you know it's pretty bad when the, a certain New York newspaper criticizes the action yeah. that it's that bad when when the liberal media the ones who normally are supportive of uh, leadership current leadership I'm going to put it that way or lack thereof um, when they when, when they criticize it you know that it was handled wrong when, and the majority of the country knows um, one of the saddest things for me was seeing all these people going out to that plane, trying to get on that plane. Mm -hmm. There was a picture I saw where a person falling from the plane. Mm -hmm. I don't know they were already dead or what the deal was, but and and someone said to me the other day, "Oh, that people would want to get out of hell, avoid hell mm -hmm. as bad as people want to get out get of, out of uh, Afghanistan, Afghanistan, which it probably is uh, uh, hell on earth right now." Sure. And, the, you know, the going door to door to look for, they're looking at phones and they're looking at anything else just like we talked about. Um, and, and to totally dismiss, you know, for all the talk we hear about um, everybody's rights and we got to protect this group and that group, and yet to totally disregard people who, as you said, helped us try and keep peace there or whatever, and just totally verschmutz it, you know, and just say, forget, um, well, as, as it's been said by many people on news outlets, this has put such a, a, a black mark on America. And I just did my thing on we. I don't even want to say we did this. We didn't. Right. We didn't. And it was, and, and even though it was proclaimed that the buck stops at the presidency, it got pointed at everybody else. It wasn't everybody else. It wasn't everybody, just as you said, it came from him or whoever's behind that. Um, it, it's just, it's, 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 it's dreadful. It's a dreadful situation, and we are, yeah, I agree with you, Bob. I'm praying for uh, the people in Afghanistan, and we, we can go to Haiti, too. All that's going on in Haiti. Um, 
you know, somebody brought up that there is a lot of witchcraft and other things going on in Haiti, but there's also a lot of of Christianity going on in Haiti. People trying to evangelize and, and bring people to Christ, and, and and that is, you know, God doesn't waste a good crisis or a bad crisis. You know, I mean, it, He just doesn't waste those things, and and we need to pray. You know, we we don't. I'm looking at Philippians 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your requests to God. We are praying for uh, Afghanistan, the whole situation. We're praying for... I, I, I pray that this is an eye-opener for people in our country. Well, and, and around gonna, the world. It isn't just stop at the borders of Afghanistan. No, it is not. Uh, it's going to spread through uh, all of those countries, yeah. all those yeah. Muslim countries, as this uh, Muslim extremism uh, really points out anybody who believes in a different way, yeah. and they're going to exterminate. They believe this is a caliphate. This is, this is mm -hmm. a holy war mm -hmm. against people who mm -hmm. uh, don't believe the way they do. Mm -hmm. um, it's a completely different way of thinking that we have as Christians. Mm -hmm. As Christians, we're trying to love people into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying not to be judgmental. We're trying to show them that there's a different way to live. Uh, their whole philosophy is convert or die. Yeah. And uh, at what point are we free not to pray for them? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We're supposed to pray for our enemies. Mm -hmm. And this is, mm -hmm. this is an enemy and, and we need to be praying into it. But is there more that we can do? I guess that's the mm -hmm. question I mm -hmm. always come to. Mm -hmm. Is there more that needs to be done by the local churches and uh, by, mm -hmm. by us as individuals? Do I have a personal responsibility in it? I do, and I know I do, and I'm just praying that God reveals to me what yep. it is that I need to do, yeah. what it is okay. that my church needs to do, what it is th that the the church in the United States needs to bind together and do. Mm -hmm. um, but the one thing that I know for sure, I know is we've got to be on our knees praying for this mm -hmm. persecution that's going on in the Middle East. Which is the best thing we can do. The absolute it's, it, best thing. It's the do. best thing that we can do right now. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah. I also yeah. think that that leads to yeah. there's got to be something yeah. more. And uh, that God reveals that to us. Yeah. Uh, so um, for Drash Ministries, uh, we oh. want to keep... Uh, up with what's going on in the world today. We want to keep current with it. Um, but we definitely want the people over there to know that we have not given up on them. God hasn't given up on them. And uh, uh, we are united with you. Uh, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ and you're being persecuted, we pray for you on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So for Drash Ministries, thank you for taking your time to watch today. Mm -hmm.